In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ventana Viewer. Once you're on a product page, you can click on more options in the top right hand corner. Let's take a look at the camera settings first. So what I can do is I can actually set the initial position of my model whenever someone loads it. It defaults to a front view, but maybe I want to have it be start at a quarter turn. So I simply move my model and click set position and then click save. And so now whenever someone loads the model, it will start at this quarter turn view. Target point moves your center point for the model. You can move the center point of your model by holding shift and clicking on the model and you can move it. So if I wanted to, if my target was off center for some reason, I could set my target right here and the model will always start off center using these coordinates. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click reset to default. I can also have my model auto rotate when someone loads it. And so we'll do a slow rotation uh, whenever someone loads the model. Next, we have our lighting panel. You have the ability to adjust, adjust the exposure, and you also have the ability to adjust your environment maps. We give you a bunch of different maps down here, and we're always adding new ones, so be on the lookout for them. Down below, you can see these are some browseware maps that were already there. If I want to show the environment map of my HDRI, which is what these are, I can click this button, and it'll show the background. Shadow intensity refers to how intense the shadow below the model is. And shadow softness feathers the edges of the model. Finally, if I go to other, I can change my background. So I can have a white background. I can have a dark background. Um, I can even have a transparent background. So if you have it at transparent, whenever you embed the iframe of this, it will actually not appear as white, but it'll be transparent. So if, for instance, I had a website that was green, I would see green behind this model rather than the white. And then the bottom here is show hotspot numbers and share links. If I quickly jump over to our hotspot page, and I add a hotspot, you'll see that we have numbers on the hotspot. Test. When we publish these, usually this is grayed out and it's just a simple circle. But if for some reason you wanna preserve this numbering, just make sure that under other, you check show hotspots as number and share links. And that's everything you need to know about the Ventana Viewer.